The world is in the midst of climate change. Summers are the hottest in over 400 years. The globe is steaming with over 6 billion people. They live in houses, work in offices, commute by cars, buses and trains and possess a million items of utility or desire. And most of these are coated in paint. From ancient cave paintings to modern architectural structures, paint has been used to decorate and protect buildings, create works of art and to coat almost everything from ocean liners to toys. Today, paint is no longer just an aesthetic device. It is a formidable technology in a bucket. Since the beginning of time, humans have always had an intense desire to build better lives for themselves. Progress in science, technology and industrialization transformed human life. This led to exponential growth, development and urbanization. But the price of progress was high. The sudden buildup of carbon dioxide, methane and other gases in the atmosphere started disrupting the delicate balance of Earth's environment. High concentrations of these greenhouse gases started trapping thermal radiation on the planetary surface. Global warming had begun. As humans evolved, so did their ability to create. There were all kinds of new inventions, products and habitats. One such modest invention that went largely unnoticed was that of paint. And only a few people realized the impact this modest marvel of chemistry would have on our lives. Paint is everywhere. It's actually everything that you see around you in the organized world. It's all covered in paint. You know, we are dripping paint all the time. So I think it's absolutely core and critical to who we are, you know, as a civilization. A world without paint would not only be dull and colorless, but also corroded. Beauty and color apart, protection and performance are the key attributes of paints. This is what makes them a crucial element of engineering. And as engineering technology has evolved over the centuries, so did a seemingly simple product like paint. Paint is basically a coating. It has got two primary uh, roles. One is covering and protection, and the other is decoration and color. However, now thanks to great technology, it has started now playing many other roles, which has an impact on your overall well-being, it has an impact on your environment, it has an impact on creating a healthier uh, uh, space. Today, paints have gone beyond merely protecting surfaces and have become an active device in combating harsh weather. In fact, there are even cool paints which can actually reflect heat off buildings, reducing the ambient temperature within them. The ancient Egyptians were one of the first civilizations that made paint by using natural and locally available substances like silica, copper and lime. In ancient time, people used to apply lime wash on their walls. That was a very crude beginning of colouring the surface, painting the surface and all. But it was not providing very good surface properties, it was not providing very performance feature to the buildings and all. For centuries, paint was made by hand. It was only in the mid-19th century, after the availability of inexpensive linseed oil as a binder, that manufacturing of paint became a business. The basic manufacturing process of paint involves grinding, mixing and dispersion of multiple substances. This has remained consistent ever since the manufacturing of paint began. There was an unprecedented surge in the demand for paint and its performance parameters in the 20th century. 
To enhance the quality of paints, new chemicals and solvents were introduced in the mix. However, some of the raw materials used contained harmful volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. These compounds pose a huge risk to both humans and the environment, as they not only contribute to global warming, but are also carcinogenic. When these compounds are let off by the paint, they react with the nitrogen dioxide and sunlight in the atmosphere and they help in depletion of the ozone layer, which is not good for us. The presence of VOCs can be detected by the sharp odour they emit when exposed to air. Apart from paints, they are also used in many day-to-day -day consumer goods, such as nail polish, markers and aerosols. With over 12 billion litres of paint being manufactured every year, there was an urgent need to alter the effect of these lethal compounds on the environment and humans alike. Paint has a combination of different chemicals, materials, and it starts with a raw material and then processing and then life of a paint. Every stage it has a role to play in environment. The right kind of raw materials, which is less hazardous to environment, whether it's aquatic, air, or in um, human life. Researchers world over are on a mission to create path-breaking innovations in paint manufacturing. And one of the key areas of focus is to make paint more health and environment friendly. The goal? To eliminate toxic raw materials and VOC emissions from paint and other coatings. The cost we pay is not just sitting in the product we buy, in this case the paint we buy, but there is an implied cost sitting in the air we breathe, huh? or the environment our children live in, or the quality of the paint you put on the walls and the impact it has on the health of your family. Today, as India is on its way to becoming an economic powerhouse, buildings, towns and super cities are sprouting everywhere. Construction has become its second largest sector and exterior paint consumption has shot up exponentially. Exterior paint, uh, the first thing a customer looks uh, towards is the aesthetic look, that the building should look hygienic and beautiful. The other part is the functional need. Keeping India's unique climatic conditions in mind, Paint developers saw an opportunity to make a difference by delivering a new breed of performance paints. Scientific breakthroughs and innovations provided the platform to create paints that could protect, beautify, shield and even cool. Cool paints are paints which can actually drop temperatures inside your home, okay? Save you electricity, which is something which, which, is something which people never thought you know, a paint could do. Based on a revolutionary technology called Sun Reflect, scientists developed this unique exterior paint that would keep buildings cooler by up to 5 degrees. When sunlight strikes a building coated with Sun Reflect, the paint's protective layer disables the conduction of heat from the outer structure of the building into its interiors, thereby keeping the building considerably cooler. And so, with a dash of colour and a splash of technology, the time of cool paints had arrived. Imagine a hot cup of coffee. Take the hot mug of coffee in your hand and you will feel your hand getting warmer while the mug gets cooler. However, you cannot make the reverse happen. This is because heat flows spontaneously from a hotter object to a cooler object. This is a thermal gun. It measures the heat signature of any given object. Let's look at a few objects that are part of our daily lives. A glass of cold water, a cell phone and a laptop. Each one of these gives out its own unique heat signature based on the movement of energy and flow of temperature therein. Heat is a form of energy that gets transferred through induction, conduction and convection. Whenever a substance is exposed to heat, 
the molecules inside it acquire kinetic energy, which leads to the increase in the temperature of that system, just like when you mix hot water with cold water in a glass. The same applies to any building, especially in a tropical country like India, where there is ample sunshine. Sun's rays can be divided into three components. One is called ultraviolet rays, then there's a visible spectrum, and there are infrared rays. Infrared rays are what is responsible for delivering heat to Earth. So if you can, at any level, get a mechanism which is efficient enough to reflect these back, okay, a lot better, uh, you will get a far cooler surface. With temperatures touching 50 degrees Celsius in some parts of the country, the scorching heat of the sun literally penetrates into living spaces. When the building material absorbs IR rays, the heat in the system increases. Because of the increase in heat in the system, the temperature of the material increases, uh, which is transferred by absorption to the building, and internally you start feeling very warm. There was a need and a market to create new products that would provide relief from nature's harsh elements and were inexpensive, effective and available on a mass basis. Paint was one such area. Guided by innovation, scientists initiated research into surface modification technologies that could make the world a cooler place. Their goal was to create a cost-effective and eco-friendly paint that could make buildings cooler. When we started working on cool paints, the principle that we started on was actually insulation. So we started working on what typically gets used in these kind of things like ceramic beads, you know, or different kinds of insulating beads, you know, inside, put inside the paint film. Uh, we actually figured that the paint film was too thin to deliver any level of insulation. After the application of paint on a wall, upon drying, it forms a thin film known as dry film thickness. For the paint to employ the mechanism of insulation, a minimum level of DFT was required. This was not achievable through conventional paints, as the DFT was too thin. It seemed like the project had encountered an insurmountable obstacle. Searching for a viable alternative, the team of researchers returned to basics. They studied the components of solar light and the different ways in which materials and pigments used in the manufacturing of paints reacted to them. While the color white best reflects infrared radiation, black absorbs it. This measure of reflectivity is known as the solar refractive index. Through a propriety process, they created a mechanism that helped them achieve a level of SRI higher than that of conventional paints, regardless of the pigment color. This ensured that maximum heat-causing infrared radiation was reflected back, lending paints their cooling property and significantly reducing the temperature within interiors of buildings. The collective result of arduous research by labs at Axo Nobel in the United Kingdom, Malaysia and India was a revolutionary technology called Sun Reflect. This innovative paint had a unique quality of keeping buildings up to 5 degrees cooler. It seemed like scientists had found the answer. So usually people either prefer aesthetics or they prefer functionality and they make a choice between them. We have studied both the propositions and we have come up with Weather Shield Sun Reflect which gives you the normal functionality which is seepage resistance, heat resistance, weathering resistance plus it gives you a 5 degree lower temperature within the uh, interior. Could this paint really bring down the temperature inside buildings by 5 degrees? Scientists needed empirical evidence to support their claim. We selected Center of Energy Studies and Research to test this paint out and see the kind of sun reflectance that this paint was offering and how the sun reflectance is actually better than conventional paint. We also got Ernst & Young, an independent auditor, a very well-respected well auditor from the industry, to check and audit our process okay, or, our, or our own testing methods. Tata Power got this sun reflect paint tested. Uh, the pilot project in one of its location building called Sennet. And the results were phenomenally good. 
and there was a reduction of in the temperature of around 5 degrees centigrade and the impact on the load factor came to around 10% in reduction of load. The final test of the product would be to successfully meet consumers' ever-increasing demand for aesthetics and durability. Today, cool paints are being widely used for their path-breaking technology across the country. One of the many construction projects that have adopted this technology is built in the heart of the Millennium City, Gurga. This is the Aralias, one of India's most luxurious residential spaces. All the buildings within this complex have been coated with cool paint and the benefits are being experienced by both the developer and the residents alike. At uh, Aralia, we have used some reflective paint. It's a better version of any paint. It gives a very good look to the building, but inside also, we, we can feel that there is a difference in the total temperature. Built on the philosophy of being eco-friendly from all angles, this sprawling complex redefines modern extravagance. Composite wood, ash clay bricks and other recyclable materials have been used to construct this iconic housing society. Robin and Chalet Bartholomew have been living at the Aralias for the past two years. We lived in the earlier townhouse on two levels. If we had to go and visit my mother who was at the lower level, level we used to run down because the gaps between the rooms, the rooms would be air-conditioned, but the gaps, the corridors would be really, really hot. So, it, I mean, the, the difference is fantastic. It was like living in an oven. I can't even tell you how different the two places were. The first place was really, really hot, very hot. Cool paints have made their presence felt among numerous families across the nation. Their lifestyles have now become eco-friendly and comfortable. The Aralias by DLF is just one of the many success stories of this revolutionary eco-friendly technology. India is an emerging economy. Small Indian towns have transformed into bright, neon-filled urban cities. In order to sustain its pace, a growing state with an expanding population must meet its increasing energy demands. But non-renewable resources such as coal and natural gas are diminishing at an alarming rate. Smart and efficient energy management is the need of the hour. Gas and coal, which is a natural resource required for generating power, is very minimal and we have to ensure that people in our distribution network try and save maximum power. Electricity is one of the great benefits of modern times. It makes people's lives brighter, safer and comfortable. With energy generation largely dependent on pollution causing raw materials, we are stuck in a vicious cycle. The more energy we need, the more we pollute. The more we pollute, the hotter it gets. The hotter it gets, the more energy we need, bringing us back to where we started. There is escalation in electricity consumption on a massive scale worldwide. The impact on the environment is unfathomable. A normal household in the month of summer which has an air conditioner or a refrigerator and electrical appliances, the unit's consumption comes to the tune of around 500 to 600 units per month. Today, buildings need to be designed in a manner that keeps them cool with minimal electricity consumption. There is also need for new and unique methods of power conservation in modern structures. In addition to energy-efficient appliances, cool paints are playing a major role in reducing the temperature inside buildings. 
this can reduce electricity consumption significantly. Sun reflector lens will reduce temperature of the surface. It should impact in cooling effect and indirectly it will be helping on environment through less energy, less greenhouse gas emission and better environment. As the heat increases, the need for cooling too increases, leading to high consumption of electricity. This has a direct financial effect as well as an indirect environmental effect. Cool paints reduce electricity consumption, but more importantly, they bring down the overall ambient temperature inside the buildings and homes, creating a comfortable environment for those inside them. Bustling on the outskirts of Pune is Nehalia, a home for children with special needs. Run by Father Yeshu Raja and his associates, this unique institution is working to provide a humble home for the socially and physically challenged. Snehalaya uh, means a home of love for the children or the persons with disabilities. And so Snehalaya today accommodates or caters to the children with special needs, with uh, special education, physiotherapy and uh, occupational therapy and other rehabilitation programs. For the past 16 years, this home has provided shelter and education to numerous underprivileged children. Everything in the house is free of cost and donations are the only means of income. Every penny has to be judiciously spent. Snehalia has also consciously adopted the use of eco-friendly and energy-conserving materials. This has not only provided comfort, but it is also inculcating environment-friendly values. When we think about uh, creating a pre-pollution society, we can make our planet more green when we have and use our renewable uh, resources, whether it is a building or surrounding or energy. The use of an eco-friendly technology such as Sun Reflect created a healthier environment for the children by reducing the heat levels of the interiors and making their lives colourful and more comfortable. The children were more inspired and they said, wow, they said, we have a beautiful home with a new colour, very inspiring and motivating colour. I could see uh, smiles on their faces. After proving its worth as an effective cool paint, it was only a matter of time before institutions and homeowners would begin to embrace this bucket of coolness. Paints have been around for centuries, but their large-scale manufacturing only began in the 1900s. Today, buildings, boats, automobiles, planes, appliances, furniture and almost everything is covered in paint. Technology has now enabled this modest product to not only decorate and protect, but also to cool our environment. Paints are primarily made of four key components, pigments, binder, solvent and additives. Pigments are what lend colour to the paints. The binder holds the paint together and binds it onto a surface. The solvent is used to disperse the different components and additives are used to give a variety of performance features to the paint. Paint has got uh, a substantial amount of pigments and most of those pigments are from a base chemical called titanium dioxide, which is extracted from the earth. It has got solvents, which are typically petrochemical base. Now it's got a range of additives and extenders. So all these things put together in a very, you know, simplistically speaking, in one big mixie, is what creates paints. Paints are a type of mixture called colloid. In a colloid, Particles of one substance are mixed and dispersed equally with those of another.
Through the dispersion process, the pigment and binder are blended with the solvent, then sent to the mixer where more enhancers and additives are added. During the mixing process, samples are taken to check the quality of the products. Empty buckets are first rolled vertically so that paint can be pumped into them. These empty paint buckets come pre-sleeved from the nearby sleeving facility to reduce transportation costs. The finished paint product is then pumped into the buckets. As the buckets line up, a machine places lids on the filled buckets and a second machine presses on the lids to seal them. Once the sealed buckets of paint are ready, they are stacked into boxes and a machine prints the patch numbers on them. Depending on the size of the bucket, a prefix number are then stacked, wrapped and sent to the final dispatch van. You get colors, you get smoothness, you get uh, special properties like moisture, uh, uh, like CPH control, you get special properties like bacterial attack resistance, fungus such as attack resistance, and now with innovative products like Weather Shield Sun Reflect, you get very special properties like sun reflectance, reflecting back infrared rays. The very basic essence of paints is the expansive spectrum of colors they offer. It is this very quality that makes paints an intimate and personal product. Paint delivers something which is extremely essential for my emotional well-being, that's color. Because paint and color are essentially intertwined, right? And that's where, you know, paint starts hitting you emotionally. Cool Paints use the color lock technology to make sure that buildings remain bright and beautiful for years. It helps in cooling the interior of buildings and keeps the exterior looking fresh. The paint color looks richer and lasts year after year, weathering even the most challenging environments. In the Sun Reflect proposition, what uh, is done is uh, the color or the pigments or the whole entire system is worked in such a way that we use the raw materials to lock the system so that the color doesn't fade. Color consultants and marketeers study the latest trends in fashion and the textile industry to constantly provide customers with a fresh palette of colors. After having a whole year study, we come up with a new palette called Color Futures uh, every year. Paint manufacturing has come a long way. Today, new and efficient machines have reduced the manufacturing cycle from 16 hours to 3 hours. Not only are processes more eco-friendly, but technology is enabling paints to possess eco-friendly functionalities. When it comes to uh, active functionality, which is what you know, technologies like Cool Roof or Cool Paint you know, deliver to you, because active functionality is something which is protecting you beyond, be, protecting something which is beyond just the paint film, right? Because it's not just protecting the paint film from becoming ugly, okay? It actually takes the functionality to the next level and it actually starts protecting the structure of the building, okay? Or the people living inside the building. What more can paints do for us? The Cool Paints Revolution is a glimpse into the potential and future of paint technology. As the world struggles with atmospheric pollution and global warming, Climatically inefficient homes are becoming an ever-growing burden on resources. Architects and builders are now adopting environmentally responsible technologies to create greener structures. In this present world, you know, population is growing so fast. And because of that, you know, there are many changes in the environment. So there's a need to use this uh, eco-friendly materials a lot. So we use, you know, uh, block work, and you know, uh, solar panels and all these things in, the, in our buildings just to save the energy. Choosing a cool paint can greatly increase the comfort of residents and decrease the maintenance and electricity bills of a building. 
cool paints were developed especially to combat India's intensely hot and humid climate. Its efficacy has been proved over time and is now being used by builders across the country. Even more so in places with extreme weather conditions. One such example is Kochi in Kerala. The city lies close to the equator and has a tropical coastline that makes it very hot and humid all year long. The temperatures rise up to 38 degrees Celsius and humidity levels shoot up to a stifling 100%. Here it rains for almost seven to eight months in a year and uh, therefore if the building has got a crack, seepage is, uh, can be quite a botheration for residents. And uh, then of course, the looks can get marred. Then the salt content in the atmosphere, these are all challenges. Apart from the physical discomfort, humidity also impacts building components such as walls, floors and ceilings. These provide ideal amplification sites for microbial growth. Fungi, algae and dust mites, for instance, can produce odors, allergens and toxins. And long-term exposure to these can lead to health problems such as asthma and lung disease. Also, musty smelling buildings cannot command high rent or a high resale price. This poses a unique challenge for the builders and residents. Here at the Tulip and Magnolia residential buildings, the residents have found their solution. After in-depth research and analysis, they decided to coat the buildings with Sun Reflect. The key considerations in favor of this paint were its longevity, antifungal properties, the fact that it's water resistant and that it cools the interior of the building by up to 5 degrees Celsius. This paint, we are assured, will uh, last five years. And five years means almost 40 to 45 months of rain. So I think uh, that is a very attractive uh, option. Durability of the paint and aesthetics. These were the two main considerations. Welcome to Pune, one of India's high growth cities. Developers such as the Malpani Group here are keen to create habitats that are cool and eco-friendly. However, eco-friendly construction materials do not necessarily mean higher expenses. Nor does it imply settling for materials which are less durable or attractive. In fact, developers today are using an optimal mix of conventional and new age materials. This achieves the best results in cost and durability and helps them gain the green advantage. Instead of using uh, conventional bricks, which is red bricks, we thought of using fly ash bricks. This is made, uh, made of fly ash, and fly ash is a waste product of thermal power plant. And then instead of using uh, river sand, we thought of using uh, crust sand. Cool paint technologies are changing the way architects and developers build structures. They are providing aesthetic, eco-friendly solutions that are affordable and easy to embrace. Before buying a residential apartment, people tend to visit the earlier finished project of the particular builder. Developers benefit greatly through the color lock system because their buildings stay brighter and colorful for a much longer period. And they benefit when prospective buyers come to their ongoing project. Housing complexes from Gurgaon to Kochi are reaping the benefits of this cool paint revolution. It has brought down power consumption and the cost of maintaining modern structures. As an architect, we feel good that these types of paints are available in today's market. And we can really make some good buildings by applying these simple technologies in our buildings. When we do something good, Eventually, business for architects and business for developers come up. Specialist products like cool paints are nothing less than little miracles of science. They promise to shield us against the elements of nature, protect our green world, cool our living spaces and finally, 
turn our lives into a refreshing canvas of vibrant colors. The 21st century has steered man into the technological era, an age where science is enabling man to reinvent his way of life. The world of paints and coatings has also stepped forward to play its role in achieving a greener world. Paint is not just architectural, it delivers varied benefits okay, across different kinds of industries. And if you didn't have marine paints, you could not make the kind of build, you know, the kind of ships that you can make with the kind of steel that you can, you know, do. It, it is going to rot away. Similarly, or you talk about coatings which are really high performance, you know, which work under really, really high, you know, you know, high temperatures or different extreme conditions. A lot of the equipment that we have working in these conditions could not work if you didn't, if you didn't have these kind of high performance coatings or high performance paints working for you in those areas. One of the largest surface areas that get covered with paints is that of buildings. It is no wonder that exterior paints are now a technology on their own. And their development and manufacturing is a flourishing science. We have committed ourselves globally to making sure that over the next three years into 2015, 30% of our products are eco-premium, i.e. they have a mitigated impact on environment and they have a far more sustainable platform. Researchers have been developing an entire gamut of performance paints to serve every modern requirement in protection and preservation of modern structures, all the while reducing their impact on the environment. Very recently, we've introduced technology component called Lumitech. And what Lumitech does, it creates the impression of greater space and a room being better lit. So a couple of UK labs have certified it to reduce the artificial lighting load by more than 10%. Now this antibacterial paint actually actively fights development of any bacteria, okay, or fungus on your walls. And hence protecting you from, you know, from pathogens, you know, or for over a much longer period of time. This antibacterial paint is once again, uh, you know, uh, something which is very interesting, unique in India. To ensure that paint is environment friendly, it needs to have durability and longevity. Frequent repainting means that more paint needs to be manufactured, which consumes more fossil fuels, creates more painting cleanup residue and eventually more fuel consumption during transportation. More than 50% of our products now are labeled EcoShore. What that means in very, very simple terms for consumers is that these products meet now Euro standards on safe and sustainable uh, alternatives on coatings, low VOCs, uh, you know, lead and all these harmful compounds being way below the permissible levels. Products such as cool paints are ushering in a new era of smart and sustainable living. More such multifaceted products are needed, not just in the coatings industry, but in every aspect of consumer goods and services. Sustainability is not an option. It's, a, it's something that you need to do, you got to do. Uh, it's something which, uh, which as businesses evolve, as we become more answerable to our consumers and communities in general, Okay, we will need to start owning it up more actively. The coatings industry needs to use the core competence it has around organic chemistry to now come out with solutions, products and services which not just reduce the impact of paint itself directly, but they impact buildings, constructions, automobiles, ships, everything which has a surface which requires coating has on the environment. New paint technologies like Sun Reflect are constantly being developed to complement the creation of greener structures. The common objective is to harmonize communities with their environment, enabling sustainable, healthy and happy living. <laughs> 